Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for the weekly update. Uh, not really much happening this week, but it's probably going to be a long update because i got stuff to show you. Uh, first things first, uh, this past week was Ultrathon. It's over. It ended on Friday, sadly. And I think we raised like something like $1,255 for Child's Play Charity. So good job, team. Project Nintendo, good people. This is a very fun stream. Uh, aside from the one day I was sick, I streamed every day from Sunday to Friday. I was sick on, on uh, Thursday. Um, but uh, yeah, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I streamed Majora's Mask. I got halfway through the game, so that's pretty good. And uh, on Tuesday, I did Superman 64. <sighs> That was an experience that almost killed me. Uh, literally, I was like sick for two days straight afterwards. It was terrible. Uh, <laughs> like I, I was like, my whole equilibrium was off. It was terrible. It was terrible. But it was fun. And uh, I almost died sort of way. Um, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that was very fun though. But uh, you know, like a lot of my friends were streaming other stuff. And we raised a lot of money. The... You know, to brag and everything, because it's all my, uh, it's all me. The, uh, our first, our initial goal of $750 was hit during my first Majora's Mask block, so. No, but, the, like, I don't know, $40 of it was during my actual block. Like, the other 600, or 710 or whatever were during the blocks before me, so. I can't really claim any <laughs> any credit for that. That was all the, the good people that did uh, the day and a half. It took us a day and a half to reach that goal. It was amazing. It was amazing. You can't see my hand gestures because they're below the camera. I should probably just tell that a little bit. Okay, so now that I have that out of the way, uh, this week is going to go back to regular uploads, hopefully. I need to record more Paper Mario and stuff. I actually have to record a lot because in three weeks, like this week is the last of the off weeks I have before the next chemo cycle, so I have this week, and then the following week is a chemo week. Um, and the week after that, my family is planning on um, going down to Florida for the next two weeks until my following chemo cycle. So I need to get a ton of work done. Uh, I need to get videos because I can't. I can't guarantee I'll have any time in Florida to like upload slash edit anything. So I need to get like two weeks of videos uh, rendered and uploaded to YouTube, and hopefully I'll have internet access down there. I don't know. I don't think the place we're staying at will have Wi-Fi, uh, but the parks do. So maybe I'll like you know try to uh, you know unprivate the videos through my 3ds in the parks that we go to or something i don't know it could be like disney and things like that so it's a lot of work ahead of me especially since monday's paper mario episode is the last one that i have pre-recorded <laughs> which means i have to record let's see uh another one for this week two more for the following week of the chemo week uh, another two for that week, another two for that week, um, and since I'm not going to be here till the next chemo cycle, another two for the following week, and probably another buffer one, so I need to record ten Paper Mario's at least, or I could miss uploads, but... I've already been doing that enough, and I don't want to, so I'll try my best. This week I'm also getting more scans, because I'm not going to be here in the next couple weeks, so we, we like moved up like you know those scans, so I'm going to be getting the MRIs and stuff, which is taking up more of my time. But that's Wednesday and, Wednesday and Thursday mainly, or Wednesday. It's Wednesday and Thursday morning, so I should still have recording time to do that. I also need to do something with my friend that I'm doing Dead Space with because I have a lot of episodes of that pre-recorded but the, the reason why you didn't see any last week was because one of the episodes, the call graph didn't get our thing so we have to do post-commentary 
and I didn't get a chance to do that last week because of Ultrathon and because I got sick. Like the, the night that I said, oh, hey, let's record, that's when I was sick. So uh, we need to do that and then I'll have those ready. <sighs> so stressity, stress, stress. But now that that's out of the way, I think you've all been staring at my shirt. My eyes are up here. Um, this is probably my favorite shirt by far out of all the ones that I've gotten. And I've gotten some awesome shirts. It's called Pop Fantasy. I got it from shirtpunch.com. It's like all the Final Fantasy party, Final Fantasy Seven party members in cool style. It just looks really nice. I like it. It's big. It's like a big picture. Some of these things, it's like a tiny picture. It's a big picture. It's Tifa. Someone was talking to me on, um, like, commented on one of my Final Fantasy videos that I call her Tifa, not Tifa, because, like, in Advent Children, let's say, or pretty much anywhere else, they say Tifa. So, I don't know, I just call her Tifa. It's just what I do. So Tifa, Vincent, Vincent, Sid, Barrett, Cloud, Eris, and on the bottom you have uh, Red 13, Yuffie, and Kite Sith. But not the mug. You just see the top of the mug's head. But yeah, it's just really cool. I like this shirt a lot. So on the topic topic of stuff that I've gotten then, um, I was on a, like also a bit of an eBay kick in the past month or so. So um, just trying to get cool stuff for cheap. I mean, that's the point of eBay, right? So I got myself Super Mario 64 DS because I've never owned the DS version. And one day... John and I will do a versus of that once I practice a little more. I also got a game called Lost Magic, which I had a long time ago. This is a DS game from... I don't know. I want to say... 2007, maybe? I, I don't remember. But, um... It's... It's interesting. Uh, you like control a bunch of monsters that you can catch. Like the the enemies are catchable monsters, and it's similar to like a Dragon Warrior monster type of thing. But you also cast magic using the touch screen, like drawing runes and stuff, and uh, it's like elemental stuff. And it's a it's a whole system. It's pretty fun. The difficulty ramps up like anything at the end. That's why I originally got rid of the game because I couldn't beat it. <laughs> um, but um, this is a really solid DS title, in my opinion. And uh, so I look forward to playing that again. Um, also, another shirt another shirt came in from tturtle.com. This is from Shirt Punch. But um, this is like a three-way war with shirts for me to wear today. But uh, this one is Vincent Valentine. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love Vincent. He's awesome. It's made by the person who made the the other two, like the the cloud shirt and the one with like cloud and Sephiroth. I'm pretty sure it's the same artist, so I'll be wearing that at some point. But this this takes precedence because this is by far like the best the best thing. If only had Sephiroth instead of I don't know who I would replace actually. But um, yeah, next was the loot crate. But you saw the bit video for that yesterday, and if not, go watch the video and. If you want to sign up for Loot Crate, by the way, you know, there's the, you know, on that video, there's a link. You save money. I save money on my next purchase, so everybody wins. But the shirt that I got for that is Jokey, a mixture of the Joker and Loki. So I just thought that was hilarious. Also, a whole bunch of other stuff with it. And they, like, hand-decorated the box, or hand-drew the box with, like, a permanent marker, like, graffitied it. So, there's a lot of, a lot of good work that went into that and finally the last thing that i got <laughs> last thing that i got uh from ebay this is for 30 dollars like a is like a lot thing was this can't really see because of glare but it's a game keeper what's a game keeper game keeper is a carrying case for an old game boy the original game boy with got a whole bunch of stuff with it i got an AC charger, which actually doesn't have the cable that plugs into the wall, so it's completely useless. They actually gave me two of them, and like a game cleaner, which is over there, but you don't... Or it's over here. This is like the box for it. There's also like a, you know, like a cleaning thing, but that's kind of useless. 
I don't really care. I have AA batteries to use, and I could always try to find the cable. A game link cable. This looks pretty new, actually. I don't have another system to use it on, because the original Game Boy, and I think maybe the Game Boy Pocket, and I don't think the Game Boy Color, but maybe the Game Boy, no, I don't know, but um, maybe the Game Boy Color had this like bigger, bigger Game Link thing, and the Game Boy Advance has a smaller one, and I used to have a long time ago a cable that was like, like uh, each end had one of each of those, but that cable broke. And all the game link cables I've tried to get in the past just haven't worked. So I don't know if it's a problem with the cables or all of my Game Boy Advance SPs are just broken. There's another thing here called the Light Boy, which ancient technology. You see, back in my day, we didn't have any of these fancy backlit screens. If you wanted to play something that night, you had to buy a flashlight or a little thing that hooks onto the back of the Game Boy and magnifies the screen and turns on a light and you could be just like, oh my god, them graphics! You know? It also requires batteries. When I was, uh, back in the day when I had my original Game Boy Advance, you know, the one before that they, before they started putting the backlit screen, I used to have this little thing called, uh, Shark Light, which is like a little light that plugged into the, uh, link cable slot and uh, leached off the battery power of the Game Boy. That was pretty cool, actually. But, uh, yeah, before I show you this, uh, I got six games with it. I got The Amazing Spider-Man. I got Quirk, which I've never heard of. I got Metroid 2, The Return of Samus, which I'm actually looking forward to playing because I'd never played that uh, alleyway, which I've actually played before and is... I, li I always like this type of game. It's like um, you know, a bunch of panels and you bounce a ball back and forth. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan, which I used to own as a child and it was amazing. Well, I mean, it's not like the best game ever, but I love it. And Tetris. Can't play Game Boy without Tetris. That's, that Game Boy, that game is one of the most selling, best selling games because it came bundled with the Game Boy. It's all good stuff, but yeah, so the problem with the Game Boy here, I mean, it's it's used. Uh, it's not like a perfect condition, which is why I was able to get this whole thing for thirty dollars. It also came with the Game Boy's the Game Boy cleaning kit manual, but also the manual for Metroid Two: The Return of Samus. I love these manuals. Like this doesn't just say at the controls and blah blah blah. No, you got the story, the Metroid story. Metroid story, you got you got character bios, you got all sorts of things and talking about stuff and I, I, I really miss that. So that's that was that was a really cool thing to see. It was hiding underneath the Game Boy. But uh, yeah. So yeah, as you can see on the Game Boy screen there's that dark spot, but there's also like there's like a line like down here that isn't really alive. I love that sound. But yeah, as you can see, the screen is, well, you can't really see because of the glare, but using the screen is kind of messed up. Sound works fine. If you know what you're playing, you can't really see it from here because my camera's terrible, but if you know what you're playing, um, uh, then, uh, uh, if you know what you're playing, then you can tell it, there's enough open space so I might like open up the Game Boy and mess it but <laughs> content ID claim uh, also something I just loved is the contrast dial just what system has a contrast dial I mean, yeah, some of them have, like, brightness and things like that, but that, that's that's different now. That's that's totally different now because it's like, what's the backlight brightness? Blah, 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 blah. But this, you could just turn the entire game black. Or you can make it non-existent green. I was going to say white, but that's there's no white in this. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be... 
fun to play. I have a Game Boy player on my game on my GameCube, so I can actually use all of these in Let's Plays and stuff. So that should be fun. But uh, yeah, wow, this is a long update. I'm sorry, but <laughs> there's some fun stuff. Fun stuff. I'm I've turned into I guess a bit of a collector. Um, <laughs> filling the void in my pathetic life with merchandise. That's just how it goes. Is there anything else I need to... No, okay, let's close it up. But the carrying case itself is also really cool. It's got like a... It's a strap and... It's official. You know, it's like Gamekeeper in the same font. And everything. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, let's see. I look forward to videos and stuff. Um... I'm actually running out of Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal, so I might have to do a stream of that this week. The horror! Um, and, uh, yeah. Still trying to decide what my first 3DS Let's Play is going to be. Might be might be something short, might not. Not like 3DS Let's Play, I mean Let's Play from the 3DS Capture Card. Oh, you, you know, that's the last thing I want to show you. Uh, my, my manly 3DS. So I was going through the eShop uh, randomly and like it's the system was was cleared off before I got it so it's not like the person's whole thing was on it it was a it was a it was empty from everything but I went on the eShop and there was the license to uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies on it for some reason like it was just like you know uh, Nintendo video swap note the free things Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies re-download I was like okay so yeah so i have that now see and that's on my recording 3ds so maybe 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 anyway uh that's gonna do for this weekly update um once again thanks to, thanks to everybody who showed up and donated and spread the word for ultrathon it was a very big success and uh yeah look forward to videos and stuff this coming week it's been several total four and i'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody bye bye